Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a hack video and I'm so excited to do this. I actually got this idea um, from my notes app on my phone. Um, I was looking through like my really, really old notes from like a year ago or two years ago and I came across this um, video idea and I was like, oh my gosh, that's such a good idea. And so I thought I'd just go ahead and do it for you guys because I had some really good hacks in there and I was like, oh my God, how did I forget about this? So I'm gonna show you some really fun things to do with old t-shirts or vintage t-shirts or t-shirts that you might really like that you find at like Goodwill or something and you don't know what to do with them. Um, these are some really cool hacks and some really cool fun DIYs and I am so good at doing DIYs that are easy and no sew. Like I do not sew and I love doing easy crafts and easy DIYs so you can always count on me for easy and fast DIYs. So I hope you guys like this and if you do, don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up this video and I think that's it guys so let's go ahead and get started so this first one is really cute and it would be perfect for grocery shopping or for just like a quick beach bag or like ballet bag or something like that so what you're gonna do is you're just going to turn your shirt inside out and cut the bottom off because you're gonna need that extra piece of fabric for later on and then you're just going to crumple up the bottom of the shirt. You could do it really, really neat or just kind of do it really messy. Really, it doesn't matter. And then just take that extra piece and tie a knot around the bottom of the shirt. And you want to make sure you pull really tight because you don't want anything to fall at the bottom. And I usually do about two or three knots just to make sure it stays. And then you're just going to turn the shirt back to the right side out and you have a really cute slouchy bag and it's really easy to just throw things in and walk out the door and I think it's really cute. So this next one is absolutely one of my favorite ways to repurpose a shirt and this is a great way if you have a shirt that you really like. Um, as far as like what's on the front of it and you really want to be able to use it for something else and be able to like see the cool design that was on it and it's basically a kid's apron so as you see I'm just cutting out a apron shape I freehanded it it's a really not a hard shape to cut but if you want you can always draw the shape on first then you want to take a second shirt that you also really love and you want to do right sides together so you want to make them facing each other and you want to cut the exact same shape that you did with the first one and then you want to cut around the collar because the collar is going to be what goes over the child's head. Then you're just gonna cut some strips and this is gonna be to make the straps that go around the body and you're just going to cut some thin pieces of fabric and then stretch them out. And I just braided them together and I used two different colors and you could do whatever you want. You could do like a four strand braid, you could do pretty much anything, but I just did a regular braid. And then to tie it off, I took another piece of t-shirt and tied around the braid and I felt like that was the easiest way. And then I just cut the extra off to make it even. And then on this part, this part's a little bit more on the difficult side, but you want to mark where you want these straps to go. And then you want to hot glue down to those marks. Once you get down to the marks, you're going to want to put the straps down on the inside of the apron and you're just going to glue them down there on the sides and you want to make sure you put enough glue. You could also sew this if you want, but I'm a total like no sewer, so if you want to sew it, you can do that too, but you're just going to glue them down and then glue down the rest of the apron, but do not like glue the bottom because you have to turn it inside out before you glue the bottom part of the apron. But first you want to make sure you iron it so it's nice and flat and then you can glue the bottom and glue the collar together and it's finished. I decided to do a sports theme because Travis loves the ducks and he also loves the blazers but you could do any t-shirt like this would be so cute with like I don't know, like old colleges that you went to or just something adorable that you find at a thrift store. I just love that idea so much and it's really fun to make. So this next one is for kids and I have two daughters so I use a lot of like bows and hair ties and things like that but one thing that I hate is 
my daughters always take out their bows like they never leave their bows in so I really like these homemade matching elastics because they can't really take them out like they do hair bows and you can do pretty much any color scheme that you want to match any holiday or anything like that and they are adorable in their hair so you just want to tie a bunch of strips onto a hair tie it's the easiest thing in the world and literally it's so so cute I think I'm gonna make a little orange and black one for Halloween this year So this next one is really cute for kids as well, and you want to take long, long strips of fabric. I usually do the length of the whole back of a t-shirt, and I just stretch them out, and I usually do um, two of each color. You could do rainbow, you could do whatever you want really, but I like to do a four strand braid. So if you've never done a four strand braid, you just want to take one strand from one far side, and you want to go over, under, and then over the last one on the last side, and then you want to go back to the original side that you started on and go over, under, over, and then go back to the original side and go over, under, over. So you keep wanting to do the same pattern from the same side. You don't want to alternate sides like you would a regular braid, if that makes sense. Um, it's actually super, super easy once you get the hang of it, but it creates this really nice thick headband. And then you want to take a small square of fabric and you just want to glue the headband together, it's really, really easy. And the nice thing about t-shirts is once you braid it, it doesn't really fray. Um, so you're just gonna glue it together and yeah, it's easy and it's adorable. And Elena loves wearing them. This one is really fun to make and I actually made it for Appa and he absolutely loved it and it's really 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 easy but you just want to take a t-shirt and you want to cut the front and the back at the same time so you have two big strips of fabric and then I took another shirt in another color um, you could use the same color if you want to but I just cut another big strip in that fabric so you want to layer up the two fabrics of the same color, just like you see here, and you want to fold a tennis ball on the inside. And once you have that, you want to take the other piece of fabric and tie it around really, really tight and um, pull it hard. You really want to make sure that it's tight and secure. And then you're just going to braid all the pieces together and tie it off with another small piece of t-shirt. And it's a little bit hard because you do want to make sure it's tight, but if you do it tight enough, it's really easy for the dog to play with and it works amazing and Appa seriously love this. So super easy and a great way to recycle a t-shirt. So I really wanted to throw this one in here and it's another bag but it's a larger version of a bag. So what you want to do is you want to cut the bottom of your t-shirt and you want to do strips um, maybe about three inches and you want to tie the strips together and you want to tie them pretty tight because you don't want there to be holes because you don't want things to fall out. And then you want to take one strip from two different knots the ones right next to each other and you want to tie those together and that's going to make it so things don't fall out and it will keep it tight and secure and this is a really good way to make a bag so you can see the logo on the front of the bag better um, it's not going to be quite so like wrinkled up so if you really like the logo on the shirt this is a better bag to make and you just want to cut the neck off and the sleeves off and pull them tight so they kind of curl up and you have a really cute bag So that is it for
for my t-shirt hack video. I hope you liked this and I hope you found it interesting. Maybe you got a new idea or something like that. And you can of course change up anything that you want with any of these um, ideas. They're just kind of some things that I came up with. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I think that is it guys. So I will talk to you guys in my next video and I hope you have a fabulous day and I love you. Bye. Mwah.